Hey everyone, Micah here with Electrek, and today we are reviewing an absolute beast of an e-bike. This massive e-bike has two motors, two batteries, full suspension, and a lot more than that. Come along with us while we check it out. When I've reviewed Super Monarch e-bikes in the past, I've known going in that these are veritable beasts of e-bikes. But the new Dual Crown model takes what was already an impressive loadout and cranks it up a couple notches further. The bike has double everything. Those dual motors are 750 watt continuous, and they put out around 2.2 kilowatts of peak power total. The bike's dual 52 volt batteries are 15 and 20 amp hour units for a total of 1,820 watt hours. And of course, there's dual suspension with a RockShox Monarch RL absorber in back, and up front we've got that dual crown fork that gives this model its name. This is a motorcycle or dirt bike style fork and it just adds to the overall ruggedness of the bike, creating an e-bike that can truly handle just about any obstacle that comes its way, on-road or off-road. It's also got those massive bulldozer 26 by 4.25 inch fat tires and big old 203 millimeter disc rotors that are getting bitten down on by four piston hydraulic disc brakes. Even on the creature comfort side, you get some nice things too, like a LCD color display, comfortable saddle, and three sizes of frames to choose from. And speaking of comfort, the torque sensor in the pedal drivetrain gives you awesomely responsive pedal assist for those that enjoy pedaling a massive bike like this, which is actually quite fun because it feels like you're wearing a bicycle mech suit, spinning your legs and feeling those massively power motors spin up as if they were connected right to you. There's even a 10-speed Shimano Diore transmission, so you can see the company is not cheaping out on the lower-end drivetrain components. All of that adds up to some impressive performance, with top speeds reaching over 30 miles an hour if you don't limit the bike to lower speed limits. And of course, that's where we get into something of a legal issue, depending on what state you live in and if you're stuck with 28 mile per hour laws for Class 3 e-bikes on public roads. Though if you plan on riding in bike lanes or other areas that are shared with other cyclists and pedestrians, you should already be riding responsibly and slowing down where appropriate. On the open road though, who am I to tell you that a 30 plus mile per hour e-bike isn't okay, especially when it's perfectly legal to buy a 9,000 pound Hummer that could crush a small car without even realizing it. Kinda makes it seem silly that it's the 95 pound e-bike here that gets the extra scrutiny when it goes over 28 miles an hour. But my views on e-bike laws aren't what's important here, what really matters is the bike at hand. And like I was saying, as much fun as this bike is on the road, it's off-roading where the Super Monarch 1500 all-wheel drive dual crown really excels. Or perhaps it's the ability to go back and forth between on and off-road, such as when some people can't seem to figure out where the car lane ends and the bike lane begins. Though please let situations like this be a reminder to city planners why we need separate bike lanes. But I digress. With this much power, and this much rubber, and, well, this much suspension to match, you can go back and forth between on and off road with ease, which is great when you want to be on the road when it's convenient, and then slip back into off road mode when it's even more convenient, like when you don't want to wait in a line with a few hundred cars. Honestly, this bike feels like it can pretty much hit any terrain you'd like. Sand, dirt, and grass are all child's play for this thing. It's got the power and the tires to eat that stuff up. I'm sure it'd hold its own on snow too, though there's not a lot of that to go around here in sunny Florida. The ability to choose between front, rear, or all-wheel drive at the push of a button also lets you dial in the type of riding you want to do and lets you play around with your traction as well. If I plan to be doing a lot of slipping and sliding, I'll sometimes go with just rear wheel drive so I don't have to worry about breaking the front tire free, but when I want all the power I can muster, I'll keep it in all wheel drive. It's really hard to describe the feeling of having a fully pedalable vehicle underneath you that can also perform as well as a light electric motorcycle off-road. Though keep in mind, it's gonna cost close to the price of an off-road motorcycle too, coming in at a current sale price of about 5100 bucks. That's a lot, though you're basically getting two e-bikes worth of components. The frame is the only thing there aren't two of, and well, that's the cheapest part of an e-bike. From the dual batteries to dual motors and dual suspension, the rest is where all that money goes, not to mention the nice brakes, the torque sensor, the higher-end transmission, and the accessories you get too. 
So there's a lot of value here, but this is also an expensive e-bike any way you slice it. These types of e-bikes with this much power and performance have always been a pay to play scenario. The other downside of the bike is the weight. 95 pounds is heavy with a capital H, E, A, V, and Y. You can drag about 20 pounds out of the bike by removing the batteries, but it's still going to be a heavy lift into the back of a truck. Though with 1.8 kilowatt hours of battery, or around triple the capacity of most retail e-bikes, you could probably just ride to your destination instead of driving there. So in summary, sure, it's a heavy and expensive bike with some performance that is questionably over the street legal limit, at least in some areas, but it's also a pretty badass e-bike that does things most other e-bikes simply cannot do. If you can afford the luxury of an e-bike like this, you will not regret it. Thanks for watching everyone. We hope you enjoyed that review of the Super Monarch All-Wheel Drive 1500 Crown. If you did, why don't you give this video a thumbs up? And don't forget to subscribe either so you won't miss any of our future electric vehicle videos. We'll see you here next time.